Dr. Hashenthal, I think you published a study earlier this year talking about the daily fluctuations in brain function. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that to us and whether it varies from day to day enormously from person to person or we're talking about changes within one day and how that affects our... Well, I think we all can relate to, you know, I just got off a plane to fly here to come to do this interview. And when I first get off that plane, I'm probably not at my sharpest, right? You know, or if we've, <laughs> we've all been jet lagged and that's not when our brains are functioning optimally. And it's totally normal to have ups and downs throughout every single day. You know, um, there are times when I'm really good after my coffee, you know, right now. A stimulant. Um, so is are, that a good thing to do to your brain? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And there are times when I'm not my best, you know, when maybe I haven't had as much sleep. But what we find is in people that are at risk for dementia, um, especially if they have a certain genetic risk factor, they tend to fluctuate more than other people and they, f they have higher highs and lower lows. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, um, but it can be if it's, you know, if it's a time when you really need to concentrate and produce something, let's say you're driving or you're doing something really, really important and you're kind of in too much of a low, you know, that's a, a problem. You know, so these are small little changes that occur from day to day, but they can be a risk factor for something more significant later on.